thing's a major cultural artifact. What is that? Welcome to part 18 of the Don't Make Cry 4 playthrough. Now as you saw, Dante got his hands on Virgil's sword, Yamato, and... Well, actually, I can't really display it here because, for some strange reason, it doesn't exactly count as an actual style, but you actually gain uh, another style by, you know, it, it'll explain soon. Just give me a second. I need to buy. Alright. And I guess that's it. That's all I really need to buy. No. Alright. As the mission says, it's time to confront the savior. Why does it only take one gunshot to take care of everything? Seriously. Alright. Pretty much this mission is just a boss fight. But this is one hell of a boss fight because now we have to deal with the giant statue thing. And we have Yamato to help me out. So, let's see how this goes. With Yamato, you unlock the Dark Knight style. Now, on its own, it doesn't really do much to Dante's abilities. You can still use... Holy crap. You can still use uh, Rebellion for normal sword slashes, but you can also use Yamato for various attacks, like, uh, let's see...
I'm sorry, it's really hard for me to describe what you can do and fight at the same time, so I apologize. Um, with Yamato, you can you have you have this combo. You have an aerial rave type move. You can use something called Dimension Flash, which is back forward. Uh, no, back circle. And then you have kind of like a far, like a distance Dimension Slash, which is forward in circle. And that's actually it. There is, you can't really do much else with it. And the game is glitching out on me all of a sudden. Alright, so the object of this boss fight is uh, you have to take out these gems that are located on the savior's body. Now it's not 100% clear how the hell you have to do this, but uh, climbing on its arms and his other limbs might be a useful hint. I thought I could reflect those, but I guess I can't. How do I... I'm sorry, it's, it's a long time since I've been... since I last fought this thing, so... Oh, there we go. I got the one on head. Well, that worked. That's weird. Okay, that was a useless cutscene. So I'm guessing I just have to take off the gems on his right side now. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Why am I using the shotgun from this distance? I just realized how stupid I am. I'm good. Use your other arm, you jackass. I swear, you can reflect those. I don't know how, though. Nope, apparently not. So yeah, I forgot how to... I, oh god. Yeah. Excuse me for all this crap, but uh, I totally forgot how to fight this guy. Okay, I need to figure something out, uh, and fast. I can't walk onto his chest for some reason, uh, that was close. No, I don't want to jump all the way over there. My God. Okay, I seriously don't know what to do. Like, 
if I had to guess, I would say that I'd have to get him to use his... Oh, what's this? Okay, what the hell is that? Uh, is he stuck? Is this my chance to get him? Come on. Help me out here. And I'm too late. Let's try this one. Okay, this would help if this was the other arm. I need the other arm. Okay, I think I got it now. What? That's not fair. Okay. Try this again without, without the erupting failure. Come on, game, help me out. I think I saw it. Nope. Where is this thing? Here is this thing. Hit this thing! Okay. Okay, they, they all do different stuff. I believe this is my chance. Come on. Shoulder, I have his arm. What do I do now? Is he the hell? And now we have these flower things. Okay, I thought I was done. By now. So what? Now what? Am I missing something? one of those weird ass boss fights where it's kind of uh, it's sort of obvious of what you have to do but what's definitely not obvious is what you have to do to get to what you have to do apparently that doesn't work so so weird. I wish this, they just kept it as simple as just killed the thing. Okay. I think I got it now. Because last time they just stuck me in the area where I just couldn't leave. 
At least I assume I can leave. Shotgun, man. This is where I was before. So, this leg should be the last one. Okay, last one's on the chest, so... It shouldn't take too long. God, I got a lot of editing to do. Okay, so they just want me to keep jumping. And I'm just now realizing how low my health is. That's fair. Uh, as much as I hate using it, I'm going to have to use it. I'm just going to have to do it the cheap way in that case, because this is annoying. Alright, finally, progress. I can actually go and attack him. Alright, next time I'm going to save my double trigger so I can get at least a little bit more damage.
Damn it. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, but so far this is a pretty lame ass fight. Not gonna lie. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do exactly, so I'm pretty much reduced to just this. Oh, now you wanna approach? Now you wanna approach me, you douchebag? That's it. Really, all I have to do is just make it to this platform that he'll approach me. Well, why wasn't I told that? Why wasn't there some kind of like stupid tutorial thing that told me to like go to this specific platform for him to? Uh, stupid. I'm really gonna have to kill him with just using guns. So that seems like my only option right now. You know what? I think that's what I have to do. That was lame. That was really lame. Is that our main character? Looks like it. Like, 
I'm not stupid or anything, but it's, it's just that, that boss fight, like, the reason why I had such a hard time is because I didn't remember what to do, like, I know I had to take out the gem things, but I forgot, like, everything that I had to do to get to them, like, I know he, on his left arm, on the savior side, his left arm, he'll attack you and you can climb on his arm, and you can take out the gems that way. His right arm, I completely forgot what you had to do, and because he didn't have the life bar, I didn't think to, like, just keep attacking until he stunned, so that never actually came up. They don't tell you what you have to do to actually reach these gems, and they don't tell you why you can't reach the, the one on his chest until you actually, you know, take out all the other ones. And for the last part, it's like, there was only that one platform that gave me an opportunity to actually attack him head on with my devil arms, unless he was stunned. So, I was reduced to shooting the dude from like, millions of miles away with ebony and ivory, which took forever. I... The, the first, I didn't have that hard of a time with this boss the first time I did it. Like, this time was just a memory thing. I just forgot how to fight him. I just forgot how to, how to take him out. But, seriously, if, if I was any other person, if, because I'm just an average dude. I'm just an average player, and I don't, like, find ways to break games. I don't, uh, find ways to make ridiculously long stylish combos I just like to play the game I like to hack and flash I like to like experience the story story of the game and if I got to this point and I got to that boss fight and I fit uh, I can't talk and I figured out that in order to defeat him I I was reduced to pretty much just shooting him I could have probably with that entire fight with shooting him that's pretty much what I did like the only reason why it went as fast as it did is because I needed to use the shotgun to take out the gems. But the shotgun wouldn't have worked uh, for the second half of all that, so I was I was pretty much doomed to spend over, I would guess, like about seven to eight minutes trying to... That was ridiculous. Anyway, join me in part 19, where... I guess we start getting as Nero, and we have some saber to kill. Oh boy.